What's up, Scrappy peeps? It's Adele from Inky Quill, and today I've got a double page process video for you using my number 12 PL album for 2018. And these are part of a like a travel mini section within my Project Life album, I guess you could call it. Uh, we went away for a week. I uploaded a video, a PL video, uh, I think it was a couple of months ago now documenting the first part of this trip and then here's another part and I wanted to you if you've watched me for a while you know how I feel about green and this page was very green and so I wanted to try and use green while I could uh, and I cut out that little part from the I think it's a pink fresh studio Oh, I don't know the name of the collection, but it's their latest travel collection. And it was just the perfect, it just matched that grass um, so well and gave me a bit of space to do some journaling. So then I've got this bottom section here and I need a background paper that I can stick this little wander tag as well as my photo to, just to make sure that they stay in there and they don't go wiggling everywhere. I do get a lot of questions about my 9 by 12 albums uh, I've been doing I did 9 by 12 albums for three years for 2016 17 and 18 and I always bought them from uh, Studio Calico uh, the shipping to Australia is a nightmare I think I paid once I think I paid about you know, $150 $200 just in shipping once uh, but they were the only place at the time that I could get them from uh, because they weren't very popular back in 2016 and I have since switched back this year for 2019 to 12 by 12s and I've talked a little bit about that um, over on a recent Patreon video I did where I did a flip through of the pages that I've made so far for this year but I'm enjoying I like both sizes uh, 9 by 12 is great for inserts as well so even if you do work in a 12 by 12 size and you want to try and shake things up a little bit you don't have to invest in the actual albums you can just buy a packet of page protectors and see if you like the size um, but that's where I used to get them from so for this card we oh we went to this amazing fair it was called the big design fair or the big design market I think uh, down in Melbourne and if you are around when that's on I highly recommend it I think it was a gold coin to get in and it was fantastic bought some goodies lots of arty uh, prints and clothes and um, oh, all sorts of things there was there was just so much every every type of product that you could possibly want except food things was in there so for this one, I just wanted to add a little bit of journaling here. I I don't think I I think there was only a couple of layouts for this trip. Uh, most of it is Project Life, so I'm trying to sneak in some journaling when I can. I have also made an entire or well, two travelers notebook inserts for this trip as well uh, that I took with me, and so there's a lot of journaling over in there. So I don't really feel like I need to double journal too much um, but just enough to to get the point across of what we were doing and how we were feeling and then uh, a little bit more detailed journaling is over in my traveler's notebook for that one so here yeah, it's starting it's starting to look a little Christmassy and it wasn't quite Christmas it was the end of November so we, we were leading up to there but it was just a bit of an accident that things turned out red and green just because of the photos uh, the of course the green of the park and then the red of that um, photo that we just did before this and I, I'm okay with it I it, it does scream Christmas a little bit but I think I can get away with it being in November and kind of hopefully maybe <laughs> I usually don't scrap Christmas with red and green anyway so it doesn't to me, it's not totally Christmas, but to you, it might be screaming that. Uh, so adding some journaling, the alpha stickers, I think, are a crepe paper one. And I'm using my Pilot G2 pen in the 07, as I always do. Adding a few little stickers from sticker sheets that I wanted to use up. 
and then a little doodly border because I do like doodly borders. I know that not everyone's cup of tea, um, but that's the great thing about scrapbooking is that you can have your own style and include whatever bits and pieces that you like. So here are some photos of Arch and Aaron uh, doing some wandering. And I have said before in videos, we, we don't travel a lot. And so when I, when we got back from this trip, I, I don't have any real travel themed scrapbooking products. And I wanted to buy just a couple of bits and pieces uh, so that I had something that was just easy to grab and um, I didn't have to dig through my supplies too much because I knew there wasn't really anything there. Maybe a, an odd suitcase here and there, but I definitely had no like aeroplanes or anything that really screamed travel. I've said screamed so much in this video. I'm sorry. It's the word that my brain apparently just keeps going to today. Uh, I bought this from the Pinkfresh new collection and gosh, it's been so easy to just grab these little stickers and just go for it. I, I, I don't always enjoy themey products. I think because a lot of my everyday is that I'm, I work from home. My husband works from home as well. We have a toddler. We don't get out and do many exciting things. So I'm, I get a lot more use out of the, the everyday products. Uh, rather than things that are a specific theme. Let me know in the comments, do you like themey scrapbooking products or do you just prefer kind of things that you can use across a variety of events or photo topics? Um, because I, I do struggle a lot when they're quite um, narrow, but I, I've, I've really enjoyed having this travel -y themed one. So there's that page done. And then this second page, didn't need any cards. It was a very, very photo heavy one. This is where the Christmas comes in because we were there the night that they lit the big uh, Christmas tree down in Melbourne. And I definitely had to get a photo of that, of course. Uh, I caught up with one of my high school friends for dinner as well that I haven't seen for years. And uh, it was really nice to, to see her and then enjoy the festivities because there were hundreds of people everywhere this photo doesn't do it justice but there were there were people for miles uh, and it was a bit of a busy evening I seem to be chopping and hacking oh I'm making an exclamation mark drives me nuts when alphas don't have uh, punctuation just like a, an exclamation mark and a question mark maybe a comma and some full stops um, but yes, yeah, so I just I just made my own one out of a, a letter that I probably wouldn't use very much. I think it might have been K. Uh, and then adding a few little stickers here, so you can see I'm I'm keeping a lot of the same uh, type of stickers. So I've used some of those gold ones on the page before. I'm using this same collection to scrapbook this. I'm using a very very skinny label down here that I've obviously chopped off something else. Uh, and by doing that, it makes the whole trip cohesive. It makes it all go together a little bit better. And it also makes the actual scrapbooking part of it come together a lot quicker. So there's that one. And then another tree picture because you can't have enough trees. This sticker was in the travel themed one, but to me, it just screams Christmas with that little, it's not a snowflake, it's just an asterisk, but to me, it looks a bit snowflakey and it looks just like the shape of the uh, star that was on the top of the tree. I'm also trying to use up some enamel dots. Who else is drowning in enamel dots? Me! But I have all these half packets that only have a couple like less than 10 dots left on the page. Um, I love to overhang them off the side and then snip them right off uh, and so I did a little bit of that there. I think I have a fight with my, yep, fight with my tiny attacher. Uh, so I've paused the camera in a moment and fix that up. Don't do this at home, peeps. It's probably not safe to stab your tiny attacher with some scissors. You might lose a finger. So don't do what I do, do what I say, and that's not to do that. <laughs> oh, the baby brain is strong today, peeps. Uh, and I should add, while, 
Oh, I'm just looking for stickers here that she's currently kicking the microphone. So I really hope that the sound doesn't go in and out here because she's making the microphone move. Uh, so I'm just adding another one of those little gold hearts. I get questions all the time about those tiny little stars and hearts. I freaking love them. I got them off eBay. My link doesn't work anymore. The seller that I bought them off doesn't sell them anymore. Um, but I just searched for, it was tiny heart stickers, tiny star stickers. They are a bit tricky to find. I had to search for a solid hour to, to get to them. Um, but that's the fun of eBay. It's just a treasure trove of things you don't need until you find the thing that you do need. And then you buy 10 of them like I do. <laughs> it's because you'll never be able to find it again. Oh, I struggle a lot with um, refinding things that I've purchased off F eBay. It's it's not good. I wanted to add just a tiny bit of journaling here, just to say like who was in the pick. Uh, and so I've got this. I don't know where this label's from. It's just a random label that I had in my stash, and I'm just going to cut that and have it overhang the side of the page so that it doesn't cover up our faces. Um, adding a little bit of journaling here. I, I'm finally finished. I'm happy to say I'm finally finished my 2018 albums. They were a bit of an epic to get through. I have nine of them uh, for 2018. Lord help me. Uh, and I have started doing monthly flip throughs. So one album every month uh, over on my Patreon and it's really nice to look back at the images. I really do love Project Life and I love it for just the everyday moments that aren't kind of value, not valuable enough, but aren't um, special enough, I guess you could say, for an entire layout just to be of my scrumptious scrambled eggs and bacon that I had for breakfast, per se, for example. Um, but I love that in Project Life, it kind of gives you a, a snapshot. It's like a time capsule of what your life was at that time. So if, you, if you've wanted to do it for a while, give it a go, give it a crack, see if you like it. Uh, and if you don't, then it's just an experience that you can learn from and you can try something else next time. All right, peeps, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will be back in two weeks over here with a grab five. And then next week, I'll be over on my Let's Get Inky channel with some art journaling. See you next time, peeps. Bye.